today my friends we are going to cook simply potatoes shredded hash browns on my electric griddle my electric grill in place of using vegetable oil, i'm going to use blue bonnet margarine i love this can you smell what the big o's cooking from your neck of the woods that's the real question oh yeah all right my friends let's turn the grill on medium medium heat let's throw a little blue bonnet margarine on the grill take a spoon of blue bonnet margarine put it where you want your hash browns better to cook the hash browns right in the center and if you're using a metal spoon to put the uh, blue bonnet margarine on the grill be careful do not scratch the surface just take the top put the spoon on top of the margarine and just move it around all right i'll be back when my butter uh, margarine's melted and we'll throw down them hash browns i'm using a plastic spatula you cannot hold a plastic spatula on the grill very long let's take us some out and spread them around let's cook two piles or just cook one big pile how about that one big pile of hash browns kind of spread them out so so got my heat turned up now it's a large like the waffle house i <clears throat> i live in georgia 38 and a half years and there's a waffle house about every exit you hear it sizzling you get those beautiful hash browns Ooh, we'll top them off with a little chet board and cheddar cheese can you smell what that big old cooking that's the real question from your neck of the woods it's a popping in big old house it's a crack of lacking like the soup doll would say enjoy the scenery listen to that sound that's the sound of goodness i've actually left them on this one i've actually left them on this one side a little, a little longer it takes about leave them down one side for about four minutes before you start flipping them let's go ahead and flip them they've been on that one side for about four minutes I possibly could have left them down another another minute. Four to five minutes sounds about right. According on how high your hot your grill is. Take that into consideration. Every how hot your grill is determines how hot the uh, or how how quick the hash browns cook. But the the danger in getting your heat too high is scorching the hash browns. You do not want to do that. Uh I leave already uh lightly golden brown on one side we'll leave them on this side right here about four minutes and i'll be back to flip them again can you smell what the big o's cooking and you can use cooking spray on the grill if you want to this is a non-stick griddle food does it stick really does it stick really easy the main things watch out pay attention do not burn them don't be scared to add a little margarine to it while they're cooking i just added another I, I scooted the hash browns to the side to the left part of my grill this way and I put down about another half teaspoon of blue bonnet margarine so to help you know cook into the potatoes we have great flavor and you smell what the big O's cooking I know you can hear it this and that's the sound of goodness let's go ahead and flip them again that's what I've did I've already flipped this one side over here I've been leaving them about three the four and a half minutes about about what i've been leaving on one side you want them to cook you don't want to burn them you want to cook them you don't want to burn them but you have to leave them down long enough to get golden brown and to cook they're thin so if you can spread them out kind of like this to help them to cook faster spread them out thin if you got a big pile like this and what i'm going to do on the internet i'm going to like the waffle house uses or the huddle houses in georgia and we got two waffle houses here in kingsport you can buy these metal rings i don't know about the size of softball to place on your grill or electric grill electric grill and uh it will contain the hash browns inside the metal ring like the waffle house uses so i couldn't find them one in walmart i haven't been on finding uh one close by a uh, hash brown ring cooking ring so i guess i will order one from the internet and that way i can throw them inside that ring and you can flip uh take your uh, spatula slide it underneath the ring the metal ring and flip them the hash browns and the hash browns will stay in that ring but i don't mind having them scattered like this spread them out thin like i just did that have them cooked 
don't be scared to turn your heat up. If you need to turn your heat up just a little bit, you know, every grill is different. Every electric grill is different. Or if you're cooking on your stove eye, adjust your heat accordingly. If you see it's taking too long, turn it up a little bit. Don't turn it up too high so you too high so you scorch them. It's better to cook them slow or with a medium heat than it is to scorch them. I've had them on that one side about four about four minutes. I've turned the heat up a little bit. But if you turn them too soon, it will take longer to cook because you, all you're doing is you're not allowing them one side long enough to cook. So the main thing is to keep them turned, but don't turn them too soon. I'm at, at, averaging three to four and a half minutes on one side. So I've turned my grill up, so in place of taking 20 minutes, it's going to take about 12 minutes to cook these. Now I put it quite a bit on here, so I'm trying to keep them spread out, you know, accordingly. Uh, you don't want them bunched up real high because the, the potatoes on top, if they're that high from the, you know, from the grill, they're not going to cook. If you're using a, I usually use a wooden spatula, but the one I got is really not that good of wooden spatula, so I'm using a plastic one. Do not hold a plastic spatula on the grill on. Okay, pull them together like this and kind of just, you know, flatten them down a little bit. We'll leave them on this side, other side, and we'll be back shortly to flip them again. Looks like it's going to take five times. So this should be the last time. Hopefully. I had my grill kind of cut down a little on the low side. That's why it's taking a little bit longer than normal. But I'd rather cook them and take my time than to burn them. You can take your fingers if you need to to help hold them on there and just flip them. Make sure to try to keep them even a little flip. Don't leave none unflipped. Because you don't want the potatoes to burn. Push them back over to where we had them. Flatten them out a little bit like this. I said make sure all the potatoes have been flipped. And I do love diced onions in my hash browns. But tonight we're just cooking the potatoes. And we're going to top them off with some uh, shredded cheese. I prefer layered, uh, you know, square cheese. In the in the plastic wrap. But I don't have any. So we, we will use shredded cheese. See how I bunched them up and now they're kind of thick. I'm going to let them cook just a little, little bit longer. <clears throat> I'm going to flip them, top them off with cheese, and they're done. Alrighty, I just flipped them one more time. We're going to top them off with the cheese. And that's going to be it, my friends. Now, I love a lot of cheese, so I'm not going to overdo it. And hopefully that cheese will melt. And, and in the process, what I'm going to do is turn my heat down. I'm going to get the cheese to melt and I'll be right back. And I will show you the final product. Look at that smoke. Oh yeah. Now, <clears throat> I took my spatula and kind of, after I flipped them the last time, I, say I put that cheese in there, and I took the spatula and kind of pressed down a little bit to, to push the hash browns a little bit thinner so the heat will come through to the top of the hash browns quicker and melt the cheese. And that's exactly what happened. My plan worked. Turn your heat off on your grill. Do not, like I said, be careful with the uh, spatula. You don't want to burn it. Place the platter right here close to the grill. I'm holding the camera in one hand. And we're going to try to keep them together. I don't know if it's a work. I'd say most of them will stay together from the cheese. And it did. Look at there. That's what I'm talking about. And we can go ahead and get these few right here. Oh yeah, taters are good. We don't leave, want to leave none on this grill. You feel me? We'll put them right beside the other ones. All right, this is the final product. And they're smoking. Look at her. Hash browns, big old, big old's way. Hash browns on the griddle. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you have it already. Be happy, pause, and focus. Always do the right thing. Cook with love and patience, my friend. Cook with love and patience. And you can guarantee, because the big old cook these on my food rating scale from 1 to 10, these bad boys are 10. Look how beautiful they are. Top with that cheddar cheese. That's what I'm talking about. The final product. Thanks for watching. Be happy. Choose to be happy. 
choose to eat good food, cook with love and patience. Can you smell what the big O's cooking? That's what I'm talking about from your neck of the woods. You got a smell-o-vision?